Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Huawei MateBook D16 and this one is an AMD version of the CPU. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can add extra SSD drive or if you wanna replace your SSD drive with a bigger capacity and what are the combination you can have and type of SSD that you can install in here. So I've been getting a lot of messages that been requesting that I show the upgrade on SSD on this one and that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Before you upgrade any hard drive anything from here you remember that you will not have any SSD uh, windows in your new SSD or a new hard drive that you're going to install. I made a video how you cr can create Windows 10 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in my video description and also if you want to install it I'll leave that in link how you can properly install Windows on a new hard drive. Alright, with all those said, let's get it started. First thing first, you want to power up the laptop. You want to flip it upside down and you want to grab a few tools. Tool number one would be a screwdriver set. I will recommend you guys grab the iFix screwdriver set as they have the best bits out there. We're going to be using a, a torque number five. Torque number five screw bit. And if you get the pro set, you get some opening tools, tweezers, and a few other stuff. But if not, get the basic set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And the round edges, it will not scratch the cover. With these two on the hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws all around the bottom casing. We're going to remove all the screws. Remember that all the screws are the same size and height, so do not worry about mismatching them. Just go start from one corner and remove all of the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. It motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and help you guys out in the video comments. Alright, once we remove all the screws, you want to grab the guitar pick or the opening tool. We're going to start always from the back end of the laptop. Right at, underneath this bottom casing, you want to stick it right underneath the bottom casing right there. Find a way, it has to be a little tiny notch right there. So that's where you want to stick it, the guitar pick about one or two millimeter inward. And you just want to like a 60 degree rotate and you want to see that opening it does a little clicks that's what you want to hear you want to hit that tight those clicks so you want to work yourself in the back end and now you're going to see opening right here and you want to stick it the, right in the opening in there and you want to switch it uh, towards the screen you don't want to do the other way you want to flip it the other side and you want to do that all around the front end corner to the left and right side so in here, there's an opening right there. I'm going to follow the opening. I'm going to just twist to hear those clips. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that in the front end too. But, but once you get to the corner, the front is just going to pop open. If it doesn't, keep continuing on the front side. And then simply just grab the bottom cover and lift it up. And that's the bottom chassis, bottom cover. Once you remove that, then we're going to see a big battery, two big fans. And there's your SSD drive right here. These are the NVMe PCI Express M.2 drives. And you do get actually on this model, this is a, uh, what is a D16 MateBook. So you get an extra NVMe space right in here. These are M.2 compatible. So let's say if you're okay with the one that 500 gig that you have in there, you want to add additional one terabyte or four terabyte NVMe. You can simply grab your NVMe Let's say this one is a 256 just for the hex. You can just grab it and stick it right in there in 10 degrees. Let me lift up, spin it slippery. There we go. You want to grab it in 10 degrees and you want to push it toward the jack. So it kind of clicks in all the way in and the SSC is going to be in this position. You want to bring it down towards the screw hole. Make sure it sits nicely and flush right there. And you want to press a M.2 screw right in here. They don't provide you the screw, but I'll leave the link where you can buy those screws. They're really cheap. So you're just going to screw it down, and that's it. Pretty much you go to my computer in a device manager or in the hard drive management. You're going to see the drive. 
just activated and pretty much you have your secondary NVMe ready to go. To remove, remove the screw and pull it out. Remember to do this uh, SSD upgrades, you do not need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary. If you want to remove the battery, just pull this jack, put your fingernails at the side of the jack and pull the jack backward. That's it. It's kind of hard, but you have to manage it. Just bring it up and that's it. And that's how you remove the battery. But to remove this SSD, you do not need to. To put it back in, it's straight in and push it towards the connector. To remove this other SSD, these are Phillips number zero or number one. Just go ahead and remove the screw, the simple tiny screw, and the I mean the RAM. The SSD will come out in 10, 15 degrees like the other one. And all you need to do is to pull it out in the same direction. And there you have it. So grab it, make sure the notch on the uh, SSD matches the notch on the DIMM. Bring it in, all the way in, towards the motherboard, and place the screw. So you can have a one ter four terabyte, another four terabyte in here if you want to go extreme. And that's how you upgrade the SSD drive in here. There is no space to add a mechanical drive or any 2.5 SATA drives in here. There's no adapter, there's no space to fit that one in here. All right, once you have the upgraded and the SSDs, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, put it on, and you want to pinch it really hard on the corners and make sure you hit that big click nicely on the corners. Now, and last thing would be to just put the bottom screw. Remember, once you turn on the laptop because you remove the battery, it might take up to 15 seconds before it gives you anything on the screen. So do not panic. Just wait for it 5 to 10 or 15 seconds to do a memory check and then you should be in the window with no problem. I'm gonna turn it on because people are telling me, why don't you turn it on? And let's see how long it's gonna last. So I'm just gonna quickly pull up the screws. Again, don't forget to support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. Let me just fast forward this part. Now let's go ahead and turn it on and see how long it's gonna take before we get the boot screen. So, powering it on, no boot screen is still, I see the backlight, uh, so give it a few seconds and don't panic. This happens always when you remove the internal battery. There we go, we got the brand, so next restart is going to be super fast, so with no issues. So don't worry about it. And we are in the desktop with no problem. All right, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.